Now take a look. We showed you this unbelievable video last night. Hurricane force winds pummeled downtown last week and lifted that car up and blew out the back window. And now tonight we're hearing from the woman inside that car. ABC 13's Luke Jones live, di live downtown. This interview you'll see only mm -hmm. on 13. Luke, her life flashing right before her eyes. Yeah, and you know, she saw that video last night for the first time along with the rest of us. The only difference was she actually lived through that. As scary as it looked on camera, she says it was far scarier being there. 3,000 windows that blowed out. It's like nothing. I was like, God, I, I don't know how I made it. Darlene Brown's ever lived through. I thought I was actually going to blow away in the air. 80 mile per hour winds paired with shards of glass. Everything was beating down on my car. In an all out assault on her car during last week's storm. Last night, we showed you this video. They said, yeah, you were on 13 News. Take it from Michael Lombardino's dash camera. The partner at the Haynes Boone law firm was parked behind Brown outside Wells Fargo Plaza, where she'd gone to pick up her brother from work. He called me and said, I'm stuck in the elevator. Not long after, the storm moves in, and Brown stuck in her car. The wind blows out her back window, then pushes her car into the curb. It felt like I was going up in the air, really. It felt like it had picked it up and moved it, and I thought it was going to take it away. All the while, she's on the phone with her sister. I say, I'm about to die. I say, it's going to sweep me out this car. I'm going to die. Doing everything she can to avoid those flying shards of glass. I just got down really, really low. And I just prayed and prayed and prayed. I said, Lord, please don't let me get blown away in this storm. Be it the power of prayer or just plain good luck, Brown survives unscathed. I thank my holy stars right now. Once she gets home that night, she learns her house isn't so lucky. I couldn't get any worse. I just say, well, I don't know what we're going to do now. Brown says she managed to chop up that tree and remove it from her house. No serious damage there, but her car is still in the shop. Still, though, the most important thing and the one she's most thankful for tonight, her life. We're live downtown. Luke Jones, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Hey.